All right, so in this video, we're checking out the Roma F4 from Diatone. Uh, I did a video on the Roma F35 um, a couple weeks back, perhaps a little bit longer than that. I don't remember exactly, but you know, these drones are both really similar in size and in terms of design and also in terms of motor choice. Uh, but there's some pretty significant differences here in terms of um, the choices they've made and, and what ultimately happens with the flight performance. So the frame itself between these two are almost identical. Uh, the front, the top plate um, is the same length. So in terms of the battery and everything like that um, should be the same. The only difference is that the F4 supports four inch propellers. The F35 supports three and a half inch propellers. So the motor to motor distance is a um, basically a difference of a half of an inch or a quarter of an inch per um, propeller. So uh, 158 millimeters for the F35 is the motor to motor distance and then 174 millimeters for the F4. And then if you look at the way the frames line up, if you line up this exactly right, you can see here with the F35 over the F4 there on the bottom, it's just the arms are just a little bit longer to accommodate the four inch propeller. And it turns out to be it's a quarter of an inch longer, which makes a lot of sense to make that propeller uh, clear. Now I have the analog version for both of these. Uh, same video transmitter, same camera. I did uh, put some different receivers on these. So on the F35, I used a uh, FreeSky XM Plus receiver, and then on the F4, I'm using an Express LRS uh, 2.4 gigahertz receiver antenna here in the back. And I think this is, yeah, this is the beta FPV receiver. In terms of weight difference, it's not gonna make that huge of a difference. So obviously the DJI versions are going to weigh something else, but uh, these are the analog versions. 20, sorry, this is uh, 221.7 grams for the 3.5 inch. And the four inch is coming in at 236.1 grams. Now the other major difference here is the stack, which is the last thing uh, I was gonna get to. So let me go ahead and pull these little covers off. The 3.5 comes with a, you know, more of a standard uh, 20 by 20 two board stack, flight controller, and ESC. The four inch now comes with this new all-in-one um, combined flight controller and ESC and a single board, obviously to keep the weight a little bit lower. They're both using the same uh, 20, uh, 2203.5 motors, but different KVs. So these come in a 2200 KV for the 6S version on the four inch. Uh, this is also a 6S version for the um, 3.5, 2650 kV. So the kV difference is pretty significant. So 2650 versus 2200, even though you're going up half, I'm sorry, yeah, it's a half of an inch overall um, from the three and a half inch to four inch propeller. I think that they reduced the kV a little bit too much in my opinion. I'm not sure why, I think that they could have gone to a little bit higher KV, um, but I think that they may have made that decision based on the fact that they're using a single board here. And these are notoriously not very good at handling voltage spikes and large amounts of current spikes. And if you have a, this, this bigger motor on 6S, you're gonna have more fluctuation, more variance in that voltage um, with a higher KV motor. So I think they went a little conservative here and lowered the KV a bit more for to accommodate the single board it's uh, 35 amps whereas i think that on the 3.5 perhaps they were overly aggressive maybe 2650 might have been a little bit too high uh, for even for a separate esc board which is i think why you see a, pr a pr difference in performance so you know um in terms of the uh, if i when you fly these both on the lighter 550 milliamp hour battery this is a sick, these are both 6S. They, you know, they fly pretty, well, okay, well, I'm not gonna say they're similar. The, because the 3.5 has a higher KV motor, it, the 550, this lighter setup flies pretty, um, well, it's got a lot more um, pop, a lot more responsiveness, 
you know, for the lightweight setup and the smaller battery. Um, we put it on here. I was expecting it to be better, but it actually was not. It actually had less performance even with the 550, even with the bigger prop, because I think the motor KV is a little bit too low. So conversely, when you go to a bigger battery, which, you know, you, you, these guys can carry these like larger 6S batteries. This is a 1050 6S, which is, this is not a good battery, by the way. This is pretty old. Um, weighs a lot more. So let me show you the difference in weight. I think also the weight differences will give you a different um, uh, characteristic in terms of the pit tune. So 550 is um, 102.4 grams, and then the 1050 comes in at 192.7 grams, so almost double the weight. So I'm thinking that the ideal battery probably for the F35, a little bit bigger than this, maybe like a 650 or 700 success. And then on the four inch, I think you can go, you can definitely go higher than the 550. I'm thinking like 750, 800, 850, somewhere in that range. These are batteries I don't have. So I was unfortunately not able to test this, uh, those scenarios because um, yeah, I just, I spent uh, way too much money on batteries this year. So I'm just, I'm basically gonna wait till next year before I buy any new batteries. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking that based on my testing on these two batteries, you probably want something in between uh, the ones I actually tested in in these stuff. So I'm not going to show you a ton of flight footage on this one. It's the on the heavier battery, the four inch here with the lower KV motor is really eh, the performance is sort of meh, not that not that not that really notable um, compared to the 550 on 6s on the 35 or the three and a half inch model. So bottom line here is I think that they made a mistake on the motor KV choice, but I think they did that to make sure that the all-in-one board survives. I'm thinking that what they probably should do here is swap the stacks and bump up the KV in this one. So put this um, all-in-one board here on the, 30, on, the, on the F35, which will make it lighter. And I'm thinking that this motor will probably be okay unless you're going t t totally nuts on this one. And then put the separate um, dual uh, board stack, the separate flight controller and EC into the F4, and then increase the motor KV up to like, say, 2450. And then I think the performance is going to be much more respectable. So again, you know, you know, these are very similar in terms of size and prop size, but the when it comes down to the you know cho the choices of the components you make in your build, in this case, I think they've made some sort of mm, odd choices here. I like the performance on the 3.5 with this setup here, as you probably saw in that video. It flew really well, but I don't really like the performance on the F4 in comparison to the F3.5. You know, granted, this is this is still a nice quad. It flies okay. I think it. The pit tune here is highly dependent on the weight, and I think that on uh, the lighter uh, 550, it was very uh, loose, not very locked in. Even on the 1050, it didn't seem super locked in. I think the pit tune really just needs a lot of work on the F4 compared to the F35. The F35 seemed way, way more um, locked in in terms of the pit tune. So uh, I'm thinking that they may have not done enough work on the on the uh, pit tune on the F4. It needs a little bit more work. Um, and or they need a little bit more guidance in terms of the weight that you're carrying around. I think that they, they the, I think, in my opinion, I think that they've pit tuned this for a pretty large battery, perhaps even bigger than the 1050, maybe like a 1300 success, plus the weight of like a GoPro, maybe like a Session 5, which this can, this can, def, this can definitely carry all that weight. Uh, but I think that we look at the numbers and compare the pit tunes. I'm thinking that's probably what they were targeting, but that's like um, it, it's gonna. It basically turns into this into like a cruiser, um, you know, where it's gonna fly more locked in and not really give you very good acro performance. But if you want acro performance, you probably want to go to the smaller battery, like a 550. But in this case, like probably like a 650, 750, with like a mount for like a Cadex Peanut or Insta 360 Go 2. And then you get a nice little freestyle setup there with it. Obviously, you're going to need an adjusted platoon for that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the bottom line on these two guys. Um, you know, I think that it could. I think that the F4 needs a little bit more work, and I think that I would recommend going with a different 
motor KB, but I'm thinking that if they're going with this all in one board, they probably can't. And they probably should be going for the dual stack separate ESC board and, and a higher KV motor. That's my recommendation on this model. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, let me know about this and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.